starting off from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, really getting a good view on what exactly we're seeing wind-wise, the conditions. Flags are moving lightly, trees are pretty much at a standstill. Earlier this morning, they were swaying back and forth, but expecting those winds to really pick up as we head more so into the afternoon time. Wind speeds right now ranging around 3 to even 12, 16 miles per hour as you head more towards our inland mountain and valley regions. And that's where we're mostly seeing those wind speeds coming from the northeast. Now, not only is it bringing some dry air over land with it, it's also warming up some of our temperatures, especially compared to yesterday. So 68 all the way to 73 for some of our warmer spots right now, especially seeing some of our warmer areas, 73 out in Salinas. And those temperature changes ranging around 2 to even 9 degrees right now warmer compared to this time yesterday. Now, this is all due to an inside slider event that's really bringing in these dry conditions, really bringing in that dry fuel, really dropping that relative humidity. A lot of our areas in the 20s, even teens, as you get to Gilroy, Hollister, even out to Salinas, heading towards down the Salinas Valley. Now, that's critical fire conditions that we are seeing, and that's one of the reasons why we are seeing this red flag warning in place all the way through tomorrow evening. Now, that's in place for all of our interior areas. The only spots not really under this will be spots like like Moss Landing all the way near the Monterey Peninsula. Everywhere else, including Santa Cruz and Salinas, are involved with this. So not only are we expecting to see wind speeds around 20, 35 miles per hour, can see some gusty conditions, 30, even greater than that, especially in our higher terrain and our higher elevation peaks. So with the main concerns are always those gusty winds, some power outages possible, and we'll actually get to that in just a moment here. But that low relative humidity I just talked about already dropping along with the explosive fire growth due to the gusty winds. So not really the ideal time to maybe go barbecuing, go out for a campfire, really want to hold off on it, even though we're expecting to see really gorgeous weather throughout the next coming days, because when it comes to that relative humidity dropping and those gusty winds, if a fire were to start, it's easy for it to start because of the dry fuels already drying it out, especially from the dry fuels we saw a couple weeks ago. And along with those dry fuels and the gusty conditions can really help spark up a fire, fire and along with allowing it to spread rapidly. So along with that, going back to those power outages I mentioned. This is our power outage map right now. Already seeing a thousand people without power right now as you head your way over to Santa Cruz County, even all the way up to Santa Clara County, 2,500 all the way down to the Santa Lucia's and part of Monterey County, 700. And we could see more people without power, especially as we head into the evening time when those winds do continue to pick up. Forecasted highs today, 70s, 60s along our coastal spots. Inland areas will pretty much top off into those upper 70s and 80s. And as we take a look at your case, the eight day forecast, 60s, 70s into the next coming days. Tomorrow will pretty much be the warm up that the peak of that warm up we'll see. But overall, a lot of our temperatures are pretty much near seasonal, which is really good news. Really nice for a lot of people this weekend, but we do have that impact day in place today and tomorrow. So if anyone's out and about, just want to be extra cautious. Yeah, definitely enjoying the nice weather while staying safe. Thank yeah. you for that update, Ariana.